61A, lecture number five. Announcements. Quiz one is due on Friday. You're meant to be working on it by yourself. If you don't solve it, don't worry too much. Here's a little guide to how you should interpret your score. If you got zero out of three, something's not working. So you should go talk to somebody on the course staff about how to proceed. If you get one out of three, don't worry too much, but that's a strong indication that you should spend more time in lab and discussion understanding those questions. If you don't understand them all when you leave lab, spend a little time reviewing. If you get two out of three, that's, that's pretty typical. Practice is extremely hard to solve CS problems, and so you should just keep practicing and you'll get better. Computer science just takes a lot of time to learn. There's no way around it that I know. Now, given that it's going to take you time, you should try to make that time efficient and enjoyable. Work with other people. Find somebody you enjoy studying with. And that way, instead of just getting frustrated as you try to solve these problems, you might find that you actually enjoy the intellectual exercise of trying to work to work really challenging material. material. Project 1 is due next Thursday. You can earn an extra credit point for completing it by Wednesday. Do that. Why not get an extra credit point? There's an extreme version that exists for students who don't want much guidance. Honestly, I don't recommend this version for anybody. Why not just solve the regular version? Well, if you want an extra challenge and you don't want so many constraints, but instead you want an open-ended project solving experience where you just build it in any style that you want, the extreme version is for you. Try it out, and if it doesn't work, you can always solve the standard version. This weekend, we'll hold a few extra office hours on Sunday and Monday in case you need some help. I'm expecting that there will be about three office hours available on Sunday afternoon and five or six on Monday. More details will be posted on Piazza. Speaking of office hours, you should go. Look, computer science is challenging. And the projects in this course are meant to be instructional, meaning you learn something while you solve them. Now, a lot of times, learning that thing requires you to talk to people. And especially, you should get help from the course staff during office hours if you get stuck. Don't just sit frustrated for four hours at a time, not understanding how to solve some part of the project. Instead, come in and ask questions or ask on Piazza. Part of learning to program is learning how to ask technical questions. It's so important out there in the world that you're able to ask questions about what you're working on. People do it all the time. And if you can learn that while you're in your first computer science class, then you're way ahead of the curve. So make sure you go to office hours. You're not alone in this course, and you shouldn't feel isolated. The office hours are not there as a last resource when nothing else has worked, they're there to make sure you spend your time efficiently and you can enjoy learning what there is to learn by solving these projects. Midterm 1 is coming up. It's held on the evening, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Wednesday, 9-16. And by the way, two extra pass-not-pass -pass one-unit courses are available for you starting this Friday and Monday. Practical programming starts on Friday. It's a decal about how to apply what you're learning in 61A to all kinds of practical application development problems. Additional topics in the Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs is going to start on Monday. Now, I'm not 100% sure that we have the room since Monday's a holiday, but I will make videos for the first lecture so that if for some reason we don't have the room or you don't want to come to class on a holiday, you can just watch the videos and get an introduction to that course. That course just has a bunch of extra topics that I think are interesting related to the 61A material. It's meant for students who really have a strong grasp of what's going on, but no prior experience is required.